first game for Glasgow was in 2007. Ten years on, does this pre-season period get any easier? Um, I guess at the start of it, you know how hard it's going to be. Like Young boys come in full of excitement and then hit the wall fairly quickly. Where Once you've done it a few times, you know how, how tough tough things get and you, 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 you want to get there. You enjoy when, the feeling when you are there. And once you've done it, you come out always feeling better. Talk about those young boys. As a senior member of the group, has anyone impressed you particularly? I think uh, Jamie Batty at Lucid Prop, he's, he's pushing on well. He's come back fit and well, strong, getting fitter as all props do. Um, I think that's good. There's a couple of young boys, young Paddy Dewhurst to send, uh, stand off and uh, Hastings as well coming in and, and doing well. What sort of things have the coaches had you doing? Is it, is it all gym work or is there quite a lot of rugby in there? Not at all. They want us to be explosive, powerful, make real big impacts in the game, which is exciting. Jonathan Humphreys, what's he like to work with? You work with lots of coaches in your time. How does mm -hmm. he compare? Hump's very good. He's got um, a real focus on the go forward and mental attitude of confrontation, which as a forward, as a front five, is, is what you look for. Um, throughout the season, I guess we'll have lots of challenges coming up and big games against big packs, so it'll be, it'll be good to do. Do you enjoy being one of the more senior members of the squad now and kind of looking out for those jokes? Is that a part of this that you've... you've yeah, I guess, I, guess, I guess with uh, being class senior player, you, you, you challenge yourself. You, you, you don't want any youngster to be able to to overtake you so you constantly want to be fitter and stronger and use your experience to help you in games and to put you hopefully ahead of them. But yeah, the, the younger guys come in and challenge you and that's why you want to continue to get better. That's why you still play the game. Do you, do you guys working in pre-season now feel that you've got an upper hand on those guys who have been away playing internationally? Could you've been working hard together to the same focus? Yeah, yeah I guess uh, right at the start of pre-season we had a meeting and we set a stall out that when uh, the Scotland boys, international boys, the rest of the lads of the team come back, uh, we want to shock them by how tight a knit group of boys we are here and how hard we work and the standards we set. And that's been a big driving force for the boys on the pitch and off the pitch. And you've been in constant communication with Dave Rennie, the Skype calls and whatnot. How excited are you for him to get here finally? Yeah, very much so. So we, uh, we take a good interest in the way the Chiefs play. Um, his ideas in the game, his focus is in the game, and we're trying to implement that and add to the strengths we have in our team, yet develop in the way that the coaches want us to.